good day and welcome to the WITS Faculty of Health Sciences 47th Annual Award Ceremony. The Faculty's Award Ceremony celebrates the extraordinary achievements of staff and students. These individuals are an inspiration to all in the Faculty by demonstrating exceptional proficiency in one or more of the pillars of academia. Join us as we celebrate excellence in the Faculty and speaking of excellence, let us welcome the Dean of the Faculty, Professor Shabir Mahdi. Welcome to the 2021 Faculty of Health Sciences Prize Giving Award. Unfortunately, we meet today under similar conditions as we did last year, and that is virtually because of COVID-19 and the impact that it is having us on society. Nevertheless, despite the challenges posed by COVID-19, we can show that the University of Advertisement, its staff, as well as its students, has, has risen to the occasion in that we're still able to celebrate excellence in the faculty. Today, we basically acknowledge those individuals that have excelled both at an undergraduate level as well as a postgraduate level. Needless to say, the ability of our students to excel is completely dependent on the university being able to provide it the necessary resources as well as the staff being able to continue the activities in providing guidance as well as tutorship to our students. So as much as it is a celebration of the achievement of those individuals that are going to be recognized today, equally so it is also a celebration of the staff of the Faculty of Health Sciences in continuing the support of the student body as a whole. This award also would not be possible without the generous support of a number of different uh, donors. And to all of the donors, a special thank you for your generosity, which enables us to acknowledge excellence in the Faculty of Health Sciences. With those few words, once again, congratulations to all of the recipients of the various awards and look forward to you contributing in an ongoing manner to South Africa. Thank you, Professor Madi, for those inspirational words. Now a word of welcome from our Assistant Dean of Teaching and Learning, Professor Lindelani Mguni. Sanbonani, good day. Today we've gathered to celebrate some of our top achieving students who've performed exceptionally well in the academic year 2020. The faculty in its pursuit for academic excellence sets standards that are very high and these are benchmarked against standards of other universities, both in South Africa and in other countries. These standards are meant to ensure that we produce students who are able to solve real life problems that are faced by society in our country and other countries, particularly in the African continent. While we celebrate top achievers today, we are aware that some of our students are unable or were unable to achieve top results that they're capable of because of various challenges that they faced last year. Some of these challenges relate to finances, accommodation, as well as learning difficulties. Add to this, 2020 presented us with a different context. The COVID-19 pandemic forced us to change the way we teach and the way we learn. We had to migrate away from face-to-face -face settings to online teaching and learning. Some students struggled to adapt to these teaching conditions. We should therefore thank all our administrators, teaching staff, and other colleagues who ensured that while we faced a number of challenges, particularly related to COVID-19, our academic year went well and we completed on time. We acknowledge the contributions of all departments, schools, hospitals, clinics, and other stakeholders in our academic project. At this point, I must also congratulate the parents and family members who've supported the students throughout their academic journey in 2020. I must also congratulate all the students that we are celebrating today. These students have performed exceptionally well under difficult circumstances. We congratulate you, Sian Bongela, well done, enjoy the awards. Thank you, Professor Lindelani Mguni, for those heartfelt words. Now, for the moment we've been waiting for, the award ceremony. The prestigious Faculty Awards. The Faculty Research Prize. The award goes to the researcher, usually the first author on the publication, whose publication in an international peer-reviewed journal 
is considered to have made the most impact on the biomedical community of scientists. The publication must be of exceptional quality within the discipline and is judged to be of winning standard considering the impact factor of the journal in which the paper appeared, the rank of the journal in the discipline, and the quality of the research paper itself. The Faculty Research Prize goes to Dr. Catherine Skippers. The Philip V. Tobias Medal and Convocation Distinguished Teachers Award. These awards are made for the most distinguished clinical teaching and for distinction in teaching non-clinical subjects in the Faculty of Health Sciences. The winner in the preclinical category, Dr. Natalie N. Wali. In the clinical category, Dr. Anne Orchard. The Joe Veriava Bioethics Medal. Professor Joe Veriava has made major contributions to the advancement of bioethics and human rights in healthcare. The Faculty of Health Sciences has therefore established the Joe Veriava Bioethics Medal to recognize academic staff members and postgraduate students who have contributed substantially in this area. This medal is awarded to Dr. Leslie Robinson. The Postgraduate Awards. The prestigious Postgraduate Degree Award. This award is presented annually in recognition of a range of postgraduate degrees which include research as part of the degree. The degree is assessed on a number of criteria and is submitted through the nomination of a supervisor. The award takes a form of a medal and certificate for the achievement of the most prestigious postgraduate degree. These awards go to Dr. Eleonora Mazart, Ms. Kate Da Silva, and Dr. Tendai Mabandi. The first runner-up receives the Certificate of Commendation, and that is Dr. Euphrasia Machato. The Pharmacology Honours Prize. This prize is awarded to the student who achieves the highest mark, 75% or more, for the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences with honours in pharmacology. The prize goes to Fahim Habib and Tobega Lindani. The Duncan Mitchell Prize. Professor Duncan Mitchell joined the Department of Physiology in 1976, having completed his PhD in Human Thermal Physiology, and since that time he has pioneered research in the fields of thermoregulation and fever, pain and sleep. His contributions to teaching in the school have also been enormous. This prize is awarded to the student who achieves the highest mark, 75% or more, for the Bachelor of Health Sciences with honors in physiology. The prize goes to Gabriella Elizabeth Stamp. The Bassa Academic Merit Award. This prize is awarded to the most distinguished graduate in the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences with honors in biokinetics who achieves the highest composite outcome in both theoretical, including research, and clinical assessments, with a minimum of 75%. The award goes to Nabila Imram Hassim. The Bev Krama Honors Award. This prize is awarded to the best student in the Bachelor of Health Sciences with honors in medical cell biology. This prize was donated by Emeritus Professor Beverly Kramer. The award goes to Nogwanda Oluetu Matlala. The J.C. Allen Honors Award. This prize is awarded to the best student in the Bachelor of Health Sciences with honors in human biology. The award goes to Demi Ordes. The W. Harding Lerich Medal in Epidemiology. The W. Harding Lerich Medal 
established in 1983, is awarded to the graduate for excellence in a research project in the Master of Science in Epidemiology. The medal is awarded to Nomnebo Oradile Mukheti. The James Gear Prize. Professor James Gear, formerly director of the South African Institute for Medical Research, or SAIMR, was one of South Africa's most distinguished scientists in the field of tropical diseases and was associated with the university throughout his working life. This prize is awarded annually to the most distinguished diplomat in the postgraduate diploma in tropical medicine and hygiene. This prize is awarded to Dr. Vinita Alex. Let's take a short break and listen to the musical talent of Kevin Colbin. Night of September, love was changing the minds of pretenders while chasing the clouds away. Our hearts are ringing in the key that our souls were singing as we danced in the night. Remember. How the stars stole the night away. I, 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 I say that you'll remember. I, I, dancing in September. I, I, never was a cloudy day. My thoughts are with you. Holding hands with our heart to see you Only blue talk and love from ember How we knew love was here to stay But now December Had the love that we shared in September Only blue talk and love from ember how we knew love was here to stay Ha ha And I, I Say that you'll remember I, I Dancing in September I, I Never was a cloudy And now, the Undergraduate Awards. <laughs> Bachelor of Health Sciences. The Wadi Family Merit Award. This prize is awarded annually to the most distinguished student in the first, second and third year of study for the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences. The award was established by the Wadi family to acknowledge the most distinguished students in each year of study for the Bachelor of Health Sciences degree. The awards go to In BHSC 1, Ariel Zach Kreitzek In BHSC 2, Amy Jane Pickett And in BHSC 3, Cheyenne Patel School of Therapeutic Sciences Bachelor of Nursing The Henrietta Stockdale Award this prize is awarded to the student who achieves the highest level of professional maturity during the four-year Bachelor of Nursing degree. The award goes to Sibusi Segile Zwane. The Jock Gear Memorial Award. This prize is awarded to the final year nursing student who has achieved a high level of clinical competence, provided meritorious service in caring for clients and patients in both community and hospital settings. The award goes to Kelly June Roberts. The Rita Howard Memorial Award. This prize is awarded to the student who attains the best overall mark, minimum of 70%, 
in the second year of study. The award goes to Shazia Abbas. The Shirley Williamson Award. This prize was established by the Faculty of Health Sciences in 1998 in honor of Shirley Williamson and is awarded to the student who attains the best overall mark with a minimum of 70% in the third year of study. The award goes to Natanya Joseph. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Occupational Therapy. The Faculty of Health Sciences Prize. The Faculty of Health Sciences Prize for Occupational Therapy was established in 1998 and is awarded to the student who attains the best overall mark in their respective year of study. The prizes go to in BSc Occupational Therapy 1, Muhammad Yusuf Huki and Razina Karolia. In BSc Occupational Therapy 2, Anissa Suleiman and in BSc Occupational Therapy 3, Taryn Irene Corey. The Otasa Research Project Prize. This prize was established in 1998 and is awarded by the Occupational Therapy Association of South Africa, OTASA, to promote research. The project is judged together with seven best projects from occupational therapy schools throughout the country and is awarded to the final year graduate or group of graduates who produce the best research project. The prize winners are Jafar Ali, Amy Kazia Button, Carolina Helena Hubert, Mapue Alice Mbasha, and Gabriella Linda Elizabeth Rowan. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy. The Molly Levi Award. This award was established in memory of Catherine Molly Levi. For the first-year physiotherapy student, I judge the most distinguished in all first-year courses for this degree. The award goes to Hasna Banu. The Mariel Goodman Award. This award was established in Dr. Mariel Goodman's honor for the second-year student in physiotherapy, I judge the most distinguished in all second-year courses for the degree. The award goes to Alexa Ruth Rapp. The South African Society of Physiotherapy, South Gauteng Province Prize. This prize, established in 1986, was donated by the South Gauteng branch of the South African Society of Physiotherapy. This medal is awarded to the student who obtains the best overall mark in all third year courses in the degree of Bachelor of Science physiotherapy. This prize is awarded to Kanyisile Sekhaoke. The current Smuts Memorial Award. This prize is awarded to the student who demonstrate the most improvement and development in physiotherapy over the four years of study in both academic four years and clinical two years spheres. This prize is awarded to Shira Kruger. The Raymond and Marjorie Dart Medal. The Raymond and Marjorie Dart Medals were created in the allied medical disciplines which Professor Dart did so much to establish during his distinguished deanship and faculty membership. This medal is awarded to the most distinguished graduate who performed at a consistently high level throughout the four years of study and the medals go to, in Bachelor of Science Occupational Therapy, Lisa Kim Fellingham, in Bachelor of Nursing, Kelly June Roberts, and in Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy, Zedre Chrysal. Hi, I'm Zedre and I'm a newly qualified physiotherapist. I'm very honoured to be nominated for this award. It took a lot of hard work um, to get this degree, but it was really worth it in the end. 
Um, when you start the first year degree, you have first two years of um, theory where you have to wrap your head around all the new concepts. Um, but then you get to third year and you actually get to see real patients. And it's the most rewarding feeling in the world when you see that this is what you learned and you're actually helping someone. Um, I'm really thankful for the great lecturers and hospital supervisors that we had. They were always so willing to um, share their passion and knowledge and so willing to answer questions. And also my friends and family that supported me and um, helped me get this degree. Um, I'm thankful to everyone that empowered me to um, help people for the rest of my life and do what I love. Bachelor of Pharmacy The Academy of Pharmaceutical Sciences of South Africa Medal This prize is awarded to the best student in the respective year of study for the degree of Bachelor of Pharmacy. The medals go to In Bachelor of Pharmacy 1 Hiral Ben Dinesh Bai Patel In Bachelor of Pharmacy 2 Rabia Bibi Mohamed Riaz Sheikh in Bachelor of Pharmacy 3, Sumaya Kora and Rabia Suleiman Muhammad. And in Bachelor of Pharmacy 4, Vimisha Chiba. The UPD Pharmacy Medal. The Pharmaceutical Development Corporation, which was founded by pharmacists in retail practice in the Transvaal Nao Gauteng, instituted the award in 1983. This medal is awarded to the most distinguished graduate in the final year of the degree of Bachelor of Pharmacy. The award goes to Tasmia Laher. The Dennis Jabulani Kaza Community Service Award. The Dennis Jabulani Kaza Community Service Award is jointly sponsored by the Southern Gauteng branch of the South African Association of Community Pharmacists and the Southern Gauteng branch of the Pharmaceutical Society of South Africa. It is awarded to a student in the fourth year of study who has been adjudged to have made the most significant contribution in community service with respect to pharmaceutical ideals. The awards go to Carmini Dorasami and Sitandegile Dona Ngube. The Pharmaceutical Society Southern Gauteng Branch Award. This award is presented to the final year Bachelor of Pharmacy student who achieves excellence in the study of pharmacy. Based on the criteria of academic excellence, as well as involvement with and commitment to pharmacy. The award goes to Tasmia Laher. My journey at WITS has not only been highlighted by the level of education that I've received, but also by the life skills that I've learned, such as critical thinking and taking initiative even in the workplace. I'm so grateful and honored to be nominated for this award, and it gives me further encouragement to always give my best, even in my career. I would like to thank the, thank the faculty for recognizing my efforts and congratulate all the other prize winners. Thank you. School of Oral Health Sciences Bachelor of Dental Science The Faculty of Health Sciences Prize The Faculty of Health Sciences Prize for Dentistry was established in 1999 and is awarded to the student who attains the best overall mark at least 70% average in the respective year of study. The prize is awarded to in BDS 1 Mi Sung Yadao Letuaba in BDS 2 Amara Suji In BDS 3 Ayomide Rebecca Farinloye And in BDS 4 Sarah Kate Duarte The Gold Medal of the South African Dental Association This medal is awarded to the dental graduate who has achieved the most distinguished academic record over the five years of study. The medal goes to Sha Andre van Niekerk. <laughs> Bachelor of Oral Health Sciences. The Ohasa Glaxo Smith Klein Award. 
The Oral Hygienist Association of South Africa awards a merit certificate annually at all universities training oral hygienists. The certificate is awarded to the most meritorious student in the final year who has achieved the highest marks throughout the degree of Bachelor of Oral Health Sciences. The award goes to Kali Sidentlantla Mia. Thank you so much for the nominee for the Health Graduates um, Association. I feel very honored and grateful to be nominated. 2020 was a very tough year for students and we had to adapt a lot to um, online learning, which is something that we're not used to. So I'm very much grateful that the work we put in last year actually paid off. School of Clinical Medicine, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. The Alan Rubinson Memorial Award. This prize is awarded to the medical student adjudged to be the most distinguished in the first year of study for the Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery degree. The awards go to Mohammed Amot Karim and Rafaela Maria Andriana Halkas. The bronze medal of the Gauteng branch of the South African Medical Association. When the medical faculty was established at WITS, the Southern Transvaal branch of the Medical Association created a medal which was awarded annually to the most outstanding MBBCH graduate of the year. The medal is awarded to Nabil Saluji. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I am Nabil Saluji the MBBCH nominee for the Health Sciences Graduate of the Year. Um, I have to say it's an absolute honor to be nominated for this award across the faculty um, with so many diverse degrees, uh, so many people doing such amazing things. Um, I honestly just like to thank the Creator for all the blessings that he's given me, um, my parents, my family members for all the support and care, um, my colleagues for motivating me, pushing me to be the best possible person that I can, as well as all the seniors, my educators, mentors, um, who've molded me into the person that I am today. Getting this nomination is especially, um, is especially a blessing given the, the current circumstances that we face and the difficult year that we had last year with the pandemic. Um, and I'd, I'd honestly just like to say that I'm shocked that I've even nominated for this award. Um, I'd like to thank Vets for um, nominating me for this award um, and I'd like to congratulate all the other nominees. I hope that we can all put the, the lessons that we've learned and, and provide service to those who need it the most um, in our future careers. Thank you. The Gilbert Cottrell Memorial MSc Prize. This prize is awarded to a final year medical student deemed to have contributed the most to academic citizenship activities at the Faculty of Health Sciences. The prize is awarded to Daniel Van Donder. The Dr. Charles K. Yune Memorial Prize. The prize is awarded to a student nominated by host sites who during the integrated primary care block displayed values epitomized by Dr. Charles K. Yune, namely leadership, commitment, caring for patients, teamwork, and extending themselves beyond the set requirements together with consistency in performance throughout the block and a block mark greater than 70%. This prize is awarded to Amir Khan and Gabriela Aliza Urdang. The Bongani Mayosi Student Academic Prize. The Bongani Mayosi Foundation Students' Academic Prize is a prestigious national award which aims to recognize final year medical students who epitomize the academic legendary and altruistic life of Professor Bongani Mayosi. And the gold award goes to Tafadzwa Taurai Jeffrey Kufazvinei and the silver award Tsekhofadzo Grace Sinuelo. Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice. The Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice, BCMP Prize. Awarded to the most distinguished student in the respective year of study for the degree of Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice. 
This prize is awarded to, in Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice 1, Anastasia Despina Seyendis, in Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice 2, Lerato Rebecca Luba, and in Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice 3, Danielle Jessica de Machalhas. The Andrew Truscott Memorial Prize. Awarded to the graduate for the degree of Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice who has demonstrated consistency in academic performance, clinical ability, and professional behavior. This prize is awarded to Yasmin Bam. <laughs> Special Undergraduate Awards. The Bioethics Prize. The prize is awarded to the student to achieve the highest mark for bioethics across all undergraduate programs in the faculty where bioethics is offered as an independent course or as part of an integrated course. The student should obtain at least a 70% pass mark and should have passed all courses in the year that the prize is awarded. The prize goes to Karishma Valab. The Health Graduates Association Medal. During 1997, the Medical Graduates Association was dissolved and reconstituted as the Health Graduates Association, a name which reflects the broader commitment the Faculty of Health Sciences has for the training of all health sciences students. To recognize this broader commitment, the HGA created a new prize and medal to replace the previous MGA medal, which was awarded to a medical student each year. The faculty recommended and the HGA agreed that the new prize should be the most prestigious prize of the faculty and should be awarded to the best health sciences graduate of the year. Candidates for the award each year are therefore the top graduate in each of the undergraduate health sciences degrees. The most distinguished graduate in each qualification are in Bachelor of Dental Science, Sha'andre van Niekerk, in Bachelor of Nursing, Kelly June Roberts. In Bachelor of Science in Occupational Therapy, Lisa Kim Fellingham. In Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy, Zedre Hrisel. In Bachelor of Pharmacy, Tasmia Laher. In Bachelor of Health Sciences, Kevana Pillay. In Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Nabil Saluji. In Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice, Yasmin Bam. And in Bachelor of Oral Health Sciences, Kali Sinentlatla Mia. The winner of the Health Graduates Association Medal is Kevana Pillay. Hi everyone, I'm Kiwana Pillay. I just graduated in uh, Bachelor of Health Sciences last year. And firstly, I'd just like to say that I'm so grateful for this award. Um, it really means so much to me. And if I can give you um, a bit of uh, background to me, it's I, uh, I started Bachelor of Health Science in first year thinking, actually not knowing what to expect. I was actually very nervous. I, I didn't know if I'm gonna make friends or if I'm gonna enjoy what I'm studying and at the end I was just totally so amazed. Firstly the three years just went by so quickly and I couldn't believe how much I'd firstly grown as a person, um, how many people I, I had met and um, the experiences that I got to experience were just amazing. I mean not everyone can say that they were given the opportunity to actually dissect a cadaver. Um, I'm so grateful to have been given that opportunity and it's something that I'll cherish forever and especially studying a degree through um, the time of COVID, I think everyone has realized how important the medical profession is. And it's actually just inspired me more to just keep going um, in the future and, and trying to make a difference in the world. And I think that I've got such a good foundation, you know, adverts and the degree that I've done, I, I can do anything. And I'm so excited for my future and what I'm gonna do as a person. And yeah, once again, I just wanna say thank you so much. We have almost come to the end of our program. Congratulations to 
to all our winners. And last but not least, a vote of thanks from Dr. Wesile Krita, the Assistant Dean of Strategic Affairs in the Faculty of Health Sciences. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks you know, for taking time to be with us uh, in this important event. Uh, it's an important event in the faculty uh, calendar uh, when we celebrate our exceptional achievements by exceptional staff and exceptional students. Uh, my name is Wesile Krita. I'm Assistant Dean for Strategic Affairs uh, in the Faculty of Health Sciences. I've been asked you know, to convey a message of gratitude to all involved in the work that we do as a faculty, as a university. And I'm conveying that on behalf of all of us, all teachers, researchers, uh, students, uh, our support staff, uh, for all the contributions that everybody has made to make sure that today uh, is realized. Today we are able to honor some of our best and, and, and celebrate their achievements. Um, I will start uh, by uh, thanking our donors for listening to us, for seeing an opportunity to partner with us and fund uh, these prizes. Without you, we would not be able to uh, do what we have done today. In the magnitude we have done it and we I appreciate all the effort and the resources that you have invested uh, to assist the faculty in this regard. I would also want to thank the students, the graduates, uh, for the efforts put uh, to deliver such uh, uh, excellence uh, in, in, in the faculty, to demonstrate uh, to the world that over the 100 years we have matured to become a global competitive and excellent uh, 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 faculty and will continue to produce global leaders and global citizens. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank our alumni who are always with us, uh, supporting every initiative we do, uh, from academic programs to research uh, projects to the labs, uh, you know, to the, the classrooms. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity and uh, that platform has helped us to get to where we are today to be able to produce the excellent achievers that we are honoring and celebrating uh, this evening. I also would like to take the opportunity you know, to thank the 100 year old relationship we have with the government of the Republic of South Africa, in particular uh, Gauteng uh, Department of Health for uh, providing us with health facilities to train and, uh, and conduct research and continue uh, to be part of the global uh, village uh, through uh, the work that we are doing in from the global south. I would like to also acknowledge um, the partnership that we have uh, with the private sector uh, training facil facilities and various academic programs where our students uh, participate, uh, rotate in order to learn uh, in various disciplines from nursing to medicine, um, you know, partnerships in, 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 in dentistry. Uh, we appreciate that uh, contribution. It has contributed to the work that we are doing this evening. I would like to acknowledge uh, the National Health Laboratory Service for the excellent pathology and laboratory uh, uh, platform uh, that they provide us in order to conduct our work. And um, their effort, their investments, and, uh, and, 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 and all uh, contributions from a resource point of view are acknowledged today and the work that we see in these excellent achievers, your students, your researchers, your teachers. Um, it's appreciated and uh, uh, we wish to continue uh, building on this trend so that we continue to excel. Um, our VC uh, in his inaugural speech has emphasized and called on all of us to continue building on our strong partnerships, uh, to continue to innovate, to find solutions uh, to the problems 
you know, of Johannesburg, problems of South Africa and the problems of Africa, and to ensure that those challenges are turned, uh, you know, uh, are addressed and dealt with, uh, with solutions such that the global north is able to see a leadership and emergence of the global south through VETS University that is located in Johannesburg. Thank you. Thank you to all involved in the planning and implementation of this event. Students, graduates, family members and friends of WITS, without you there would be no celebration. Kevin Colburn for sharing his talent of music with us. The awards planning team, Kasturi Naidu, Henda van der Walt, Antonia Apple, Norman Mutlabani, Carl Ngosi, Dr. Mark Allen, Sandra Ben, and the Assistant Dean, Professor Lindelani Mguni. Once again, congratulations to all our prize winners. Thank you for celebrating with us. Goodbye.